for early career professionals who want to get into publishing? Oh, okay. Um, great question. So uh, I think um, if you're in your early career, well, I think one thing that's great to do is to get involved with professional associations like the International Society of Managing Technical Editors or the Council of Science Editors, Society for Scholarly Publishing, um, even COPE, you know, at, attend meetings if you can. Sometimes these groups have webinars online. Um, and then as part of the involvement, um, maybe join a committee. That way you really start to meet people in the field. You do a little networking um, and build relationships. And so that's one thing. Um, starting at the bottom some places where it really needs to to be and so you can survey the the publishing landscape if you're interested in books you might move to new york city if you're you know if you're more association publishing maybe dc philadelphia areas um but then there's freelancing opportunities so it's um uh, and then um you know, education could be a component of it. If you're, if that's a field you're interested in, you could do something like a master's program like a GW has, um, just to get that much more experience and to get a real well-rounded view of publishing. But, um, so yeah, I think it's just reaching out to people and getting involved in organizations, um, you know, finding people at meetings um, and talking to them, people who are a little more uh, senior and, um, you know, talking to them about it. Um, and then just starting someplace, even at the bottom, and just working your way up, and see see how it goes from there. So, <laughs> so it's it can be intimidating to that networking thing is always very intimidating, and it's hard to do, especially when you're young and you're just starting out. But um, if you can find someone who's a a mentor, um, that's a big that's a big help. And um, one last question. Uh, what do you think about this initiative of uh, connecting scholarly publishing experts and researchers? I think I, so I guess I would say I'm very interested in education and I, I like the publishing field a lot and I think it's very valuable. So anytime you have a chance to communicate that value, but also to shed a light on what you do, because I think it is sort of a black box for people, it's intimidating, and just to share with people that it doesn't have to be intimidating that um, where people like you were, were interested in this whole academic endeavor, we're interested in science and medicine and making life better for people in general. Um, so having that opportunity to talk to you and, and to um, be involved in education um, is important because um, you're sort of ambassador for your, your field in a way and reaching out to people, making those connections. And then for authors, Hopefully it's you know presented in a medium that's accessible and interesting to them and maybe you know, spark some ideas for them or gives them just that little bit of education that they need to make their paper better or to work better with their team of authors, um, to act ethically, all of that. So it really benefits both of us because then we know that we're getting uh, good content from our authors because they're invested it, in it as well as, as we are. So. Um, just sort of, I guess it's sort of conveying the fact that we're, just, it is sort of a team endeavor, even though we're not at different areas, you know, different places, you know, and coming from different places, it, it we're both hoping for the same end product, so, yeah. yeah.